All right, we are out backpacking again on an overnight trip in the Catskills around North South Lake, and we are headed to Colgate Lake. So the trail that I'm hiking today essentially is just a hike of the southern section of what is called the Enscarpment Trail. And the Enscarpment Trail is a 25 mile trail in the Catskills that goes through some of the most picturesque spots. Um, it's a really popular uh, trail to hike for backpackers and so far it's been really amazing. So as is typical for the Catskills, the trails are color-coded here and the Enscarpment Trail is blue. So it's really easy to follow. If I'm on the blue trail, I'm on the right trail. And it intersects with a lot of other colors, uh, namely red and yellow. I think I've seen a bunch of those today. Um, but you just stick to the blue and you know that you're going the right way. So we are just a couple weeks past uh, peak fall foliage in the Catskills. And uh, since it's this time of year, there are a lot of crowds out on the trail. And I really haven't filmed much of the first four miles of hiking. Um, a, because of the amount of people on the trail and B, because I got a late start and uh, I'm just trying to make some miles until I feel like I'm in a good spot that I will uh, make it to the area I want to camp tonight before sunset. But as I get further out here along the trail and get away from North South Lake and uh, Catterskill Falls a little bit more, there are a lot less people on the trail. So the southern terminus of the Enscarpment Trail begins at one of the trailheads for Catterskill Falls. Catterskill Falls is New York's highest waterfall and it was a uh, favorite subject matter of many of the Hudson River School painters, similar to North South Lake, which we're also seeing on today's hike. So I began at Catterskill Falls and I'm hiking up essentially halfway through the Enscarpment Trail, and then I will uh, veer off the Enscarpment Trail and go a few miles down to another lake in the area called Colgate Lake, which is a popular swimming spot, um, and it's also a year-round trout lake that they stock with brown trout. So I am at one of the many lookout points on uh, this trail that I'm hiking today. And if you look out here, I'll turn the camera around. You got an awesome view of all of the Hudson Valley, essentially. Hopefully you can see that on there. This is definitely one of the uh, main trails in the Catskills uh, for people coming and hiking to the area. So we are now at a spot named Boulder Point, I believe, or Boulder Rock, I'm not sure, Boulder something. And you've got these awesome views looking east uh, into the Hudson Valley. You can see right there the water, uh, that is the Hudson River, and I live roughly right on, right on the other side of the Hudson River, but a little bit further south. Well, as much as I want to just hang out and keep looking out at this view, I am going to keep on going because uh, I still have quite a few miles before sunset. So one of the coolest parts about being here around North South Lake in the Catskills, aside from the amazing views and the beauty of the area, is the history. Um, this area in the Catskills was really important to outdoor recreation and naturalism in the early United States. You can see behind me there, just slightly in the background, there's a large clearing and that was the site of the Catskill Mountain House 
in the 20th century. Actually, it opened originally. Uh, its heyday was in the 19th century. So right now I am walking through the North South Lake Campground, which is a public campground. More like your traditional <clears throat> campground with a bunch of sites just packed in all next to each other. However, there isn't anyone camping, so I'm going to guess that they are closed for the season. Still quite a few people up here though. And uh, I think pretty soon as I come out of this campground area, I should see a lot less people. You know it's crowded when you're out hiking if you can't find a good time to just stop and take a piss on the trail. Just never know if someone's right around the corner from you. So here we can see a really famous view of North South Lake and uh, you, you may have seen this before in some of the paintings by the Hudson River School painters. So I just left a spot called North Point which is basically uh, a really high rock ledge that overlooks North South Lake um, and that's kind of the last real scenic area for at least a few miles. Um, I haven't seen anyone since I left that spot. I've really enjoyed all my hikes on the Catskills so far but I'd have to say that this one on the Escarpment Trail at the southern end has definitely been um, the most eventful. It's just scenic vista after scenic vista after scenic vista. Just keeps going. And the hike is relatively easy. I mean, I think most people would be completely fine. Although there is a decent amount of scrambling and uh, climbing up and down some rocks. So it would be, if you went in the winter time, it would definitely be a challenging hike. And because of the amount of people that I've seen here today, granted I am here on a weekend in the fall when there is a lot of tourism here, but I think a winter backpacking trip of the whole Escarpment Trail would be an awesome trip to do. So I'll add that one to the bucket list as well. All right, so this is the first trail marker that I've actually seen that has my destination on it, which is Dutcher Notch. So 2.3 more miles to go until I reach that. And it is, let's see, just going on four o'clock. So yeah, that puts me there about five o'clock. That will be perfect. That's kind of what the goal was all day. And uh, <clears throat> that'll give me about an hour before camp or before sunset to get camp set and everything. This is pretty cool to see. This is an old plane wreck. I'm not sure any of the details of this. I'll have to look it up when I get back to the house, but I have heard about a plane wreck or two up here in the area, so I did not realize that I was going to be passing by it. It's cool to see. Even though we are past peak foliage, still a lot of awesome color out there. You can see this field right there. When I started this afternoon, that field was all the way, at all the viewpoints, all the way over on this side. And so I've kind of worked 
my way down this ridge line to where I am now and it's all the way over there. So we've come quite a good ways. Alright, well I have made it to the point where I leave the Inscarpment Trail and I will now start heading towards Colgate Lake which is four miles from here. And uh, I'm just going to look for a spot to camp and hopefully a uh, fresh source of water. You can see over here on the bottom here that Route 23 to 12.1 miles. Um, that would be finishing out the rest of the Inscarpment Trail. So next time, that's the plan. I'll start here and I'll probably start from the trailhead there, two and a half miles away come up to this point and then head the 12 miles to the end of the escarpment so that I can finish the whole thing. At least that's the plan. But for now, let's go find a campsite. So I have found some water and I'm just gonna fill up my bottles and continue on looking for a campsite. Got one thing done. So when the water source is real low like this, I usually just use my cup to scoop it out. Um, if you're going to use a cup you're drinking from though, obviously you're going to want to heat this cup up and boil water in it um, before you drink out of it. Just so you don't get cross contamination with the cup. And I just put this into my Sawyer squeeze bag and run it through the filter. And as is typical with these situations, now that I'm grabbing my water out of this little trickling stream here, about 100 feet up the trail, there'll be a uh, massive creek. But there have been times where I've said the same thing would happen and then nothing comes. So I figure I'll take the water now and I don't have to get it later. All right, well, I have found my campsite tonight. It really was just across from the uh, little stream where I got my water. Um, so there's actually a fire ring here. It's 150 feet from the trail, which it needs to be, or roughly thereabouts, maybe a little bit more. Um, it's in the conifers, and I've got a nice little spot over there right below the sun. Um, but it also looks over this cool area here with this with the brook running through down in there but yeah should work fine so I'm gonna set up camp and uh, start cooking dinner I guess
Well, I've got dinner all wrapped up. I've got my camp set up for the night. It's starting to get pretty dark here, so I think I'm just going to get into the tent pretty soon. Not going to try and have a fire or really hang out too much tonight. This is definitely a great day of hiking, though. I recommend the Enscarpment Trail, absolutely. Looking forward to tomorrow. We've got a little bit less than four miles, not not too much less though. Uh, four miles and I'll hike out to Colgate Lake and uh, head home from there. So we'll see what the rain looks like. Um, I'm hoping that there's a little bit of a uh, break in the rain around seven or so so that I can get camp packed up and get going but I don't know if I'll be that lucky but I've got the rain gear on this trip and I'll be fine I mean just hiking a few miles and the the nice thing about rain on the last day is whatever gets wet it doesn't really uh, it doesn't matter because you're going home anyways it's those trips multi-day trips where it starts raining early on in the trip and just doesn't let up and you can't get anything dry that's when it that's when the rain can be difficult so well we'll get in the tent here soon and I'll probably go over the map and show you guys exactly uh, where I started and where I'm ending this trip all right so now I'm gonna kinda just briefly go over uh, where I hiked today and show you where I started and ended and everything so you can see on the map here we've got Catterskill Falls and like I said I started right at the trailhead for Catterskill or one of the trailheads and that was uh, this one right here so this is where I started this morning and you start on the the blue trail the escarpment right at the trailhead and so I took that down and uh, came all the way around staying on the escarpment up through here up and then went right along the North South Lake Park here all through out to this point came around the lakes came up on the blue trail all the way up here and then I got up to North Point North Point was um, the spot where you could see the view of both the lakes from above um, that was a really awesome spot with an, an amazing view um, and then from there, I continued along the Enscarpment Trail all the way up to Dutcher, Dutcher Notch, which is where I pretty much am now. And at this point, um, I'm taking this, my camera will focus here, the uh, Yellow Trail uh, back through here and all the way down to Colgate Lake which is this one so I'm camped probably right around the Y right now right in this area because I'm yeah I'm actually not too far from this waterway I saw that uh, when I was exploring after I got set my camp up so that's right there yeah, and I'm right in there about three miles or so left tomorrow Hopefully that makes sense, uh, but if you have this map, um, or you're looking at maps of the Catskills, that at least gives you a general idea. Like I said, most of the Enscarpment Trail that I was on here is down in this area, just hiking the just kind of around the perimeter of this north-south lake park area. Alright, well the sun is set, it's about 7.30, and I am going to call it a day. As is typical for these uh, shorter days when you go into winter, uh, when you're out in the woods it just gets dark so early. And typically I just go to bed earlier. In the summertime, out in the woods I'll stay out and about until, you know, 9 o'clock, maybe a little bit before then. But in the winter, 5, 6, 7 o'clock and uh, you're calling it a day. But the benefit to that is we'll get up early tomorrow and get going and maybe if I'm lucky I will beat the rain but 
It's not likely. I'll see you in the morning. morning. So it is uh, 7 a.m. It's just starting to get light enough that I can go ahead and get out of the tent and start packing up. It, uh, it did rain through the night somewhat, but it doesn't seem to be raining right now, or at least it's not raining very much. So uh, I'm going to start packing up, get the rain gear on, and uh, try to get hiking before uh, the rain does really roll in. Right, so camp is all packed up. We're going to get the backpack on and uh, start hiking out. Alright, so I've been hiking for about an hour now and the rain's just kind of uh, continuing but you know, it gets, lets up for a little while and it gets heavy for a little while. It's not too bad really. And luckily it's pretty warm out. The trail is really wet, um, so my feet are pretty well soaked, but all in all, it's a beautiful morning to be out in the woods, and I'm enjoying it. Luckily, the uh, temperature outside this morning is pretty warm, and I would guess it's in the upper 40s or so, so it feels great out here, even in the rain. And it's nice to be out here. Looks like I'm walking up to a trail marker here and figure out where I'm headed exactly. Alright, well we are nearing the end of this trip. It's been an amazing trip. Just about 24 hours spent on the southern section of the Enscarpment Trail in the Catskills. Um, definitely an amazing trail that I highly recommend visiting um, but appreciate all of you watching as always and I will uh, see you in the next trip video really wish I could film more of the hiking this morning but my uh, camera is not waterproof at all so kind of limited and just trying to take it out a little bit at a time and then wipe it dry before I put it away all right, well there is the truck at the trailhead. It looks like I've got this whole place to myself, which is always kind of a cool feeling. It's nice to know that you're just the only person out there in the area. So I'm going to get back to the truck and kind of get off all the wet gear and uh, head on out. This here is uh, Colgate Lake. And this is the end point of my trip. But I come here quite a bit. In the summer it's an awesome swimming spot. And uh, for the rest of the year it's a great spot to fish for uh, trout. They stock it with brown trout here in New York. Um, but it's a great lake. Alright, thanks again for watching this video. And I will see you on the next trip. Have a good one.